Hey guys, how's it going? It's Money Manny with HTX TV coming at you with this awesome cryptocurrency updates and information today. If you are not subscribed, definitely don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and don't, don't forget to hit the notification bell and don't forget to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. All right, here we go. <coughs> oh my God, it's up. Woo! Oh. Oh no, it's going down. Oh my gosh. All right, so we got Bitcoin coming in at $32,999. Uh, down three, a uh, little over 3% in the red. So a lot of the rest of the market is down as well. Ethereum coming in at $2,084, and that's at a negative 5% decrease in the red. XRP, um, $0.65, cents, down 4%. Bitcoin Cash coming in at $491, and that's at a negative 4% decrease. EOS, uh, $3.84, a minus uh, 6% in the red. Dogecoin, $0.24, cents, uh, down 1%. Um, and now on to some precious metals. All right, we got gold coming in at uh, $1,785. That's at a plus 9% um, increase in the green. Silver is coming in at $26.14. Actually, even at zero on the day. Platinum's at $1,106. And that's at a $17, um, $17 increase in the green. Last but not least, Palladium coming in at $2,800, and that's at a negative 18 decrease in the red on the day. So, like we said, always definitely check out your precious metals. Now on to some HCMC, Healthier Choice Management Corporation. What's up all you HCMC soldiers and warriors out there, generals, and um, yeah, today we got HCMC coming in at 0.0011, and we are looking at and coming um, even 0% on the day. Not up, not down. Straight even. So, interesting. Um, that's actually kind of rare. Normally it's up or down. It's just kind of leveling out. Definitely interesting with the, the new Q-Cup, you know, expansion. You know, they're a new side of their business. It's a whole new era. If you, you know, if you go to their website, it basically shows, you know, their patents, their vaping, their... You know, the eight vitamins online store, you know, now it shows Q cups as well. So things are looking pretty good. It's, you know, like they say is, um, you know, sometimes it's a marathon, not necessarily a sprint. Obviously, we all would really love to have a sprint, but right now it is what it is. So let's see. Um, let's see what the market's showing. Um, market cap um, coming in today at 338 um, million dollars. So, uh, yeah, the, earlier in the, this last this last week, I know it was a, over three hundred and sixty million. So, for some reason, not sure, but it definitely went down. Um, let me see. Yeah, the yeah. If you look at the um, the net income, it's showing, you know. Revenue is over $3.4 million in quarter one, 2021. Um, net income, 696000 net income or has a minus sign. So, looks like they're down $600,000. Um, I could be wrong, but yeah, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm just kind of reading this general chart. It says net income, net profit margin. Um, 20, negative 20%, down 70%, 70% from the year change. So, yeah, cost of revenue, you know, cash on hand, 5.3 million. So, at the end of the day, they're definitely taking care of business. They're doing business. Um, looks like from the rights offering, they're taking advantage and expanding in these, expanding these new territories, which um, Canada... I mean, Colorado's definitely a great, obviously a great, you know, state, you know, to be in. 
you know, with the uh, Greenleaf product is, you know, thriving over there. But um, I believe definitely Canada is, that's, that's definitely going to be huge. Obviously, stuff over time, it takes time for it to go to fruition, to blow up. You know, like the seed, you know, you can't just overnight, all of a sudden it just blows up like crazy. <clears throat> but people have to form the, all the Q-Cup situation, get it going. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think here in the near future, how long it'll take them to get that to maybe a, maybe, maybe a good six to eight months, possibly three to four months. You know, they get stuff going pretty quick. So, but yeah, right now it just seems kind of like a steady market, which is completely fine. Um, yeah, also due to the, the lawsuit, you know, we're waiting for them to, to pull out the IPR, you know, finalizations. Obviously, we're, you know, Philip Morris, it's kind of like their last Hail Mary pass, last straw. So, but, um, yeah, um, some of you guys recently you know, tell me your position. Some of you guys had um, recently sh said you had over 5 million shares. That's pretty huge. You know, even even if it takes po possibly over a year and a half to a couple of years, you know, I don't, I don't see nothing wrong with uh, holding that. I'm. Right now, point you know, zero point zero zero one one. It's kind of been the lowest, yeah, the lowest so far lately. I am definitely diamond handing this one, but yeah, as of right now, yeah, here it says. Let's read some of the general articles. They have factual things that they're writing about the Q cups. The health center will be launching their. Sell of NUHI brand pre-filled Q-Cups from Healthier Choice Management Corporation. This was actually published today from, um, you know, it's business facts about green leaf products. It says, the greatest gift you can give to yourself, your family, and perhaps the world is a healthy you. Hence, it would be best if you promoted personal betterment to your lifestyle in your, the recent past. Um, healthier Choice Management Corporation has been on a campaign of providing consumers with healthier alternatives to their everyday life. In addition, the company is passionate about accelerating its footprint with innovative ideas, tools, technology, while maximizing significant opportunities. That said, HMC has gone with the launch of NUHI brand pre-filled Q-Cups in Colorado. The health center will make available the NUHI brand concentrates to consumers in their Colorado dispensaries. Nonetheless, this is just a soft launch to set the pace for the full-scale launch scheduled for July the 10th. Okay. I think I read that already. I just, um, yeah, but July the 10th, so we're about nine days away from that, looking at the calendar. Um, it says Colorado is one of the developed markets in the U.S., according to Jeff Holman, CEO, besides the health center, has a long-standing reputation as a leader in the Colorado market, um, hence concerning nutrition and other lifestyle alternatives. Holman is optimistic that they will deliver to their consumers. Yeah, and, and also it shows HGMC's agreement with ATG Pharma affiliate Six Pack Solutions. The sister company and distribution um, arm of ATG Pharma has had a front row seat to the market evolution. This is one of many solutions HMC has entered into an exclusive authorized filling agreement for its Q-Cup technology in Canada. So you're looking really strong. It says this agreement comes when the Canadian market is booming with projections for cannabis sales at $4 billion this year and $5 billion next year. So, wow, $4 billion to $5 billion. Wow, that's, that's looking really good, guys. So, um... Yeah, I'll see. I think 11, that's definitely a good buy in. I'm, you know, like I said, not a financial advisor, but I'm definitely looking at getting in pretty soon on these guys. Um, I know one of, uh, one of you guys in the comments put about, I think, MJNE, another company as well with Greenleaf products. So I've kind of been looking into that as well. So maybe you might do a, a double, double whammy, half and half, or maybe three fourths in ACMC, maybe one-fourth what I have left in my brokerage account to put in that one but uh, looks looking good guys I guess all we can do is be patient relax and have a nice drink 
Um, in, but um, yeah, definitely wanted to give you guys some more info. Um, right now, it basically, even with the crypto markets as well, um, I did a crypto video earlier today. Things are looking like basically the red light special, clearance, everything's on clearance right now. So it is what it is. I guess that's just a part of summer. Um, in my opinion, I believe the closer we get to winter or fall and, you know, the holiday times, prices could definitely probably look at skyrocketing. Obviously, by that time, we can probably see if the lawsuit would be uh, go through fruition as well. But be patient, guys. Diamond hands. Let's keep it going. Let's turn this baby around. Wanted to chat with you guys. Y'all have a good one. We will chat soon again. Live updates every day. Let's roll. So definitely check out those uh, cryptos this week. Um, that's all I got for you guys today. But definitely check out your apps. Um, a lot of stuff's going on. You know, Cardano is above a dollar now. That's pretty awesome good news. So talk to you guys later. It's Money Manny with HDX TV. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Y'all have a good one. Talk to you guys later.